Hello my dear friends, I am Dr. Sai here. Now today I am Dr. Bhagel. He will give a lecture on food management at your home for your dogs. Thank you Dr. Sai Thakur. Dear friends, today I will talk regarding our dog feeding. How to have the food management at your home about your dog. Dear friends, dog is the most faithful animal, the excellent companion and excellent security for us. So we should think of the excellent food management for our companion, for our dog, for our friend. We must have the idea. Those who are already acquainted with the dog raising, dog fooding, they must get the accurate idea regarding the feeding. And those who have not raised the dog, those who are going to raise first time, they must also have the excellent idea regarding the feeding and management. Dear friends, many times we realize that whatever the food we prepare for us, that is sufficient for our dog, but that is not true. Actually the requirement of our dog, that is different than what is our requirement. Hence, to make our dog healthy, to keep our dog healthy, to keep our dog active, we must know regarding their requirement and how the food can be prepared in an excellent manner within the limited food resources available with us. Now we must know the what are the needs of our dog, actually what dog requires. Friends, the body is made up of six different components. The most important water, protein, fat, carbohydrate, minerals and vitamins. So these are the six important components and the major components are five vitamins are in very very less quantity. Regarding the carbohydrate, that is the major source of energy. But in case of dog, carbohydrate is not a requirement. It is actually present in our diet, in their diet, that is different thing. But dog can survive, can excellent performance without even the carbohydrate diet. They cannot utilize sucrose efficiently. They cannot utilize lactose efficiently, we must take care. And this carbohydrate can be supplied by most of the cereals. As you got the protein, total protein requirement and the most important is the requirement of essential amino acids. Means the quantity of protein is also required. At the same time, quality of protein is also very very essential we must keep in mind and that can be supplied by any of the vegetable source or the animal source. The third component is fat. Variations in the diet that is the excellent source of energy as well as excellent source of essential fatty acids required for the body. And this fat should be supplied mostly through oil only not from the saturated fat like dolda. As you got the mineral mixture, it is required for the body mainly for bone development, growth and many other functions. So these minerals must be supplied in the diet as per the need. And vitamins, they are the booster. They are the spark plug. So vitamins they are required in small quantity but 
they are very very essential for metabolism so they must be also available hence we must have the complete idea regarding the requirement of various nutrients and then we can realize much more in a better way regarding the preparation of diet for our dog now home made food normally home made food we prepare but many times most of the times the home made food they are deficient with the vitamins and minerals so please realize in case of home made food for our dog especially adult dog the protein should be 16% and out of this pro total protein one third must be supplied with the animal proteins maybe milk maybe meat maybe egg or others 5 to 10% should be fat 5 to 10% should be fiber and this diet should contain 3 to 3.5 percent sorry 3 to 3.5 kilocalorie of energy per gram of food so this should be the concentration of nutrient in the dry diet and this diet should be well balanced if it is not well balanced it will lead to weakness and various disease conditions in the dog as we got the requirement in comparison to adult dog in the growing dogs the energy and protein requirement is just double while in the old dogs as compared to adult dogs the total energy per protein requirement is 25% less than the adult so please don't when you have the young growing dog you have to supply more amount of excellent quality protein and energy diet and in case of old you have to reduce secondly the balance of diet is very very important we must realize and that we should have in mind using different type of feed resources now what can be different type of feed which can be used for preparation of dog food number 1 is cereal it is most commonly used it may be from wheat maize oat jowar rice grinded cooked and it is used for the feeding usually in case of rice two type brown rice white rice and many times one feels which is better for feeding so dear friends brown rice is certainly more nutritious then the white rice so it is better to prefer brown rice for the feeding of dog regarding wheat in most of the dogs many times allergy occurs because of the wheat protein gluten so if there is allergy because of wheat protein so you can avoid you can use other feed ingredient as regard legumes that is for the supply of protein very important first can be pulses various various types of pulses you can use beans soya beans other beans gram pea they are excellent protein sources green beans that is very good also they supply protein minerals vitamins at the same time fiber also and by using green peas in large quantity for feeding of dogs especially obese dog you can reduce the weight of the dog at the same time their digestive system becomes much more healthier now while regard the milk and milk products any time you can use these products curd paneer skimmed milk they all can be used for the feeding but friends the milk utilization is poor in case of dog lactose utilization is poor and better than milk is curd so curd is excellent feed for the dog it is very rich in probiotic 
and that, that improves the health of the gastrointestinal tract of the dog and at the same time that boosts the immunity of the dog. So feeding of cod is much more advised. Then paneer source. The excellent source of protein is paneer. From milk protein, very good, no problem. Paneer can be also available from either soybean or groundnut. They can also be used for the feeding of the dog. If there are allergic conditions, then you have to take care. Regarding tubers, potato, sweet potato, carrot, they are excellent source of carbohydrate and carrot very good source of beta carotene. So that should be also mixed in the diet of dog. Then green vegetables, very good source of minerals, very good source of vitamins, especially the spinach that should be used in the diet but try to avoid large quantity of use of green vegetables because they will increase the stool of the dog and that will cause flatulence also so large quantity of green vegetables should be avoided as regards the meat excellent quality of protein vitamins minerals and this can be from chicken meat or from large animal meat or the entrails of the animals that is mostly the intestine properly cleaning of the intestine then mincing then cooking different organs of the animals internal organs that is the kidney the liver the heart very much liked by the dog Cooking should be slightly less, it, they should not be overcooked, that is not de desired for the dogs. And uh, as regards the meat, the mincing should not be done much. There should be not much small pieces of meat and these pieces should be steamed, slightly cooked by which the pores seizes and the uh, internal juice of the meat does not come out and the dogs they chew it very nicely in case of fatty dog many times we recommend lean meat lean meat means containing very less amount of fat or nil in fat we can say negligible amount of fat and that is mostly in case of chicken meat broiler meat you remove the skin and in case of pig meat also Many pores of the meat is mostly lean meat, so that can be used. Then sea fishes, they are the excellent source of fat, good quality fat, that is the omega fatty acid. Omega 3 fatty acid, very very important for the body and for the cell health, for the immunity. So we should use sea fishes or any type of fishes for the feeding of dogs but we must avoid the skeleton portion of the fishes we must give meat portion of the fish to the dogs eggs they are the excellent source of protein and fat both raw eggs should not be fused for feeding it is the habit of some of the owners to give raw egg so please avoid no feeding of raw egg if you are feeding raw egg, that will cause certainly deficiency of vitamin B biotin. So that should be avoided. As regards the fruit is concerned, we can give man banana, mango, apple, orange for feeding of the dogs. And apple is certainly very good. It is rich in vitamin C, rich in carotene, fiber. So along with the other fruits, depending on availability, you can use for the feeding. Apple seed should be avoided. It should not be used for feeding. Pineapple, the excellent choice of the dogs. 
they like it very nicely and this is also a good source of potassium and calcium many times when we are going out or sometimes special dishes chicken rice diet or feeding up a dog so chicken rice diet usually prepared by using one cup of meat chicken meat two cup of rice but it is also deficient in minerals so it should not be used openly when you are using you must try to supply vitamins and minerals and there are many food items which should not be used for the feeding of dog for example raisins grapes onion garlic tomato the chocolate alcohol caffeine related products compounds artificial sweeteners normally drinks so they should be avoided for the feeding of dog and out of the feed items suggested depending on availability at your home you can use them in the proper quantity for their feeding now as regards the quantity is concerned normally quantity of the food intake depends on the body weight of the animal and depends on the various physiological requirements of the animal in general for the adult dog we must realize that their total dry matter requirement total food requirement on dry basis is around 1.5% of the body weight for the purpose of maintenance and if they are very active working you can go for 2.5% of the body weight but for the adult dog moderate exercise if we want to prepare our home food this must contain around 16% protein and should contain around at least 3 kilocalories of me per gram of food this should be in mind now please note regarding requirement how to calculate the requirement for the feeding of dogs what you will use cereals quantity 2 to 1.5 percent of the body weight 2 to 1.5 percent of the body weight 2 percent is for the smaller body weight and as the body weight will increase from 2 percent to 1.9 1.8 1.7 and gradually 1.5 for 30 kg body weight 35 kg body weight 40 kg body weight so accordingly you can calculate if the body weight of dog is 30 kg so at the rate of 1.5 percent of the body weight cereal will be 450 grams similarly meat chicken fish whatever you like that will 1 percent to 0.5 percent of the body weight if the body weight is 30 kg so 1 percent will come to 300 gram 0.5 percent 150 gram so accordingly you have to calculate green vegetables again 1 percent to 0.5 percent of the body weight and milk supply for young growing animals again around 1 percent to 0.5 percent of the body weight so accordingly you can calculate as per the body weight of the animal what will be the quantity of different food items cereals meat chicken green vegetables milk all these items you can join together and you can supplement fruits some amount of other items and you can prepare very good quantity very good quality of feed for your dog now two points you have to remember if the meat and milk is not available you can use one to two egg per day per dog that will satisfy the requirement secondly 
there should be two ty two types of meal for the dog one should be the light meal or other should be the heavy meal and most probably mostly what we prefer eating of heavy meal at the evening time that is better instead of giving heavy meal in the morning time and the last point when your dog comes after heavy exercise after strenuous exercise try to avoid the feeding of dog at least 1 hour you can give water and then after 1 hour you can give food to the dog so dear friends depending on the ingredient available with you and whatever the quantity i have mentioned accordingly you can prepare the feed cook it not much cooking is required at least half cooked feed and that should be used for the feeding of the dog please assure be assure rest assure your dog will be very very healthy thank you very much